Good morrow, and to you, and to you. I'm Dick Burns, here with a special news report. <laughs> Tonight I'll be investigating gun laws from state to state, especially those ones of Massachusetts. I will open a debate whether gun laws are strict enough for our good people of America. With that, I beg you, does current legislation protect Americans from unnecessary gun crime? you up on the laws, requirements, on owning and purchasing firearms in the state of Massachusetts. There are three requirements in owning a rifle in Massachusetts. One, you must be 18 years of age. Two, you must take a firearm safety course. And three, you must obtain an FID card. <coughs> the requirements for a firearms identification card require you to get fingerprinted, have a thorough background check, and the sheriff may reject your application if necessary. There are three requirements to own a handgun in Massachusetts. One, must be 21 years of age. Two, must take a handgun firearm safety course. And three, must obtain a license to carry class A or B. An LTC is also valid for rifles and shotguns. A class B license to carry allows the holder to transport an unloaded and secured non-large capacity handgun. Secured means must be in a locked trunk or a locked container. You cannot carry the weapon concealed. A Class A license to carry allows the holder to transport a loaded or unloaded handgun on his person or in a motor vehicle if the handgun is under their direct control. The handgun does not have to be in a locked case or container. Whew, I love Chinese. Just in. Pop! Pop quiz! Who's this cool cat? Anyone recognize the face? I do. Since New York has similar gun laws as Massachusetts, why did the Giants wide receiver Plexico Burris get in so much trouble for shooting himself in the New York nightclub? Answer? He had no license to carry the handgun, nor did he have any license for the gun at all. Here's a question for all you fellas out there. If Burris had a Class B less to carry, would he be in the trouble he is in today? Answer. Yes, he will. The Class B less to carry requires that the handgun remains unloaded and secured. It must be in a locked trunk or a locked container. Another question for you. If Burris had a Class A less to carry, would he be in the trouble he is today? Answer. Yes. A Class A less to carry requires that the handgun remains under the person's direct control. Not tucked in your little waistband there, brother. Recently in the 20th century, 10 federal gun laws have been passed. Mail and Concealable Weapons Act of 1927, National Firearms Act of 1934, Federal Firearms Act of 1938, Gun Control Act of 1968, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Act of 1972, Law Enforcement Officers Protection Act of 1985, Crime Control Act of 1990, Brady Handgun Act of 1994, Assault Weapons Ban of 1994, National Instant Criminal Background Check of 1998. Out of all the federal laws, these are the meat and potatoes. The National Firearms Act of 1934. This act bans the sale of firearms that discharge more than one round per trigger pull. It bans automatic firearms. The Gun Control Act of 1968. This act requires an age limit, a background check, and a competence check for owning a firearm. Currently, federal law requires two things. One, must be 18 or 21 to purchase and own a rifle or handgun, respectively. Two, must pass a background check. <laughs> Although Massachusetts seems to have an appropriate measure of gun control safety, some states may not be so fortunate. These are the top five states of 2008 with the most gun deaths per 1,000 people. Louisiana led with 19.58, followed by Alabama, Alaska, Mississippi, and Nevada. 
All five of the previous states, which led the nation in gun deaths for 2008, have lax gun laws. These states require only the bare federal minimum. Coincidence? Mib. Shootings that have taken place in our recent times have all had one thing in common. They have very weak gun laws in each of their states. Teams in about the last 10 minutes will understand that the, uh, the shooters and still many students, unfortunately, are probably still inside the school. But this is certainly good news, Tony, to see so many, so many young people be able to get to safety. Oh, that was just, I tell you, up here at altitude, where well, we started to see a couple come out and then a couple more, and then just, a, a, it must have been 30 or 40 in a group, just all running as quick as they could. And the good news, this group looks like they have not been hurt, and that's certainly good news at this point uh, in this uh, very, very uh, unfortunate drama that's playing out here at Columbine High School. On April 20th of 1999, Dylan Claybold and Eric Harris murdered 12 fellow students, injured another 21, and killed one teacher at Columbine High School during school hours. The two shooters eventually took their own lives, ending the nightmare. Columbine High School is located in the state of Colorado. Colorado does not require any permit for the purchase of any rifle, shotgun, or handgun. Colorado does not require that any gun safety course be passed prior to owning a firearm. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kelly Wallace with First Look for this Monday. It is an incredibly busy time here in this newsroom as we are all pulling together to cover what is turning out to be the deadliest campus shooting in U.S. history. At this afternoon hour, at least 30 people believed to be killed on the campus of Virginia Tech University. That's in Blacksburg, Virginia. And we are deploying a team of correspondents and anchors for this story. Katie Couric heading down there now. She will be anchoring the coverage from the campus of Blacksburg, Virginia. On April 16th of 2007, Sanghai Hu Chow killed 32 students at Virginia Tech and injured many more before taking his own life. The massacre is the deadliest peacetime shooting incident by a single gunman in the U.S. history. Virginia requires a background check for purchasing a firearm. It does not require a permit for purchasing a firearm. Virginia does not require that a person take a safety course before purchasing a firearm. On February 29, 2000, a six-year-old Dedrick Owens fatally shot his six-year-old classmate, Kayla Rowan, while in class at Beulah Elementary School, located just outside of Flint, Michigan. Michigan does not require a permit for the purchase of a rifle or a shotgun. However, it does require one for a handgun. Michigan does not require that the buyer pass any firearm safety class before purchasing a firearm. Although all the states that the shootings took place in were very lax days ago, one couldn't help to think that if they were more like Massachusetts gun laws, if things could have been different. After my extensive research, I've come to the conclusion that Massachusetts has an appropriate level of gun control laws, and other states should maybe look at remodeling theirs, their own gun laws to somewhat of Massachusetts, maybe even adopting Massachusetts gun laws to prevent crimes in their areas. Thanks for tuning in on this NBC special about gun laws. I'm Dickie Burns. And for all you watching out there, farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. You know I like them. <laughs>